You saw the title. Don't act like you're shocked. Don't act surprised. You knew it was coming. Man, holy s No messing around. Let's get it started. This fragrance journey begins right now. Let's go. Black gold, Texas tea. And here it is, House of Mancera, Black Gold. Okay, um, quick review. I'm not gonna waste a lot of time. I'm just gonna get into the meat and potatoes of what to expect from this masterpiece right here. All right, um, so uh, again, Black Gold, if you missed it, uh, House of Mancera. Um, sexy ass fragrance right here man I'm telling you this this is cash money right here absolute cash money but before I jump into this quickie review I'm gonna give you the notes stand by all right and as promised here are the notes in this bad Larry right here um, all right, we're gonna start off with citrus fruits, Nepalese oud, fresh lavender, cinnamon, nutmeg, Egyptian jasmine, rose, marine notes, violet, leaves of patchouli, vetiver, woody notes, leather notes, amber, and sensual white musk. Done. <sighs> Man. Before I get into anything, all right, I want to let all my subscribers and anybody who's just watching this video know exactly what I'm about when it comes to these reviews, all right? Um, in case you're wondering, all right, I don't get paid for any of this stuff, all right? Um, and that's basically the bottom line. So if you're going to associate my channel or any of these fragrances with the word hype, you can stop the tape right now. Either that or get it into your heads, that is not what I'm about. I don't give a sweet rat's ass about hype and fragrances. That's not what I do. I review fragrances that are in my collection. If those fragrances are in my collection, they're in there for a reason. And the reason is, I love them. So I'm gonna wear them. If and when I decide to review them, if I show you my passion about the fragrance, please don't equate that to hype. That's not what it's about. I don't care anything about hype. I don't do it. Never have, never will. Done. Here we go. In my very last video, I said that the fragrance Sicily was the greatest citrus scent that I ever got my nose on. Okay? I, I got a lot of heat for that. Especially on Facebook. And I'm like, I don't understand people sometimes, man. It's like, they don't understand. And I don't get this at all. People just don't seem to get that fragrance is subjective if you talk about other citrus fragrances you know if i haven't gotten my nose on those right then it stands to reason that what i'm saying is my opinion and it doesn't mean that it's a fact at all remember your mileage may vary that was the greatest citrus scent i had ever gotten my nose on i will tell you now that this will give it a real run for its money. Um, I, I don't know. What I do know is that it is uh, at least top three Mancera, if not... Man, it, hmm. I don't want to go there just yet, but man, I'm telling you, this is an absolute stunner of a fragrance. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's get into what this baby does on my skin, okay? When I first spray this on my skin, Boom! Blast of citrus. Big time. Big time citrus. Alright? Oud is listed in the note breakdown. It's very light. If you don't like oud, doesn't matter. I still think you're probably going to enjoy this. Because the oud in here is, is light enough that it's not going to make an impact at all. I mean, I mean, unless your nose is like, you know, wicked sensitive and you can pick it even up, even traces of, uh, of oud. But again, it's very light. 
This is a fresh fragrance, uh, very citrusy and spicy in the beginning, okay? All right, then I'm gonna say maybe an hour, maybe an hour and 15, hour and 30 minutes into this fragrance is when you now start to get the florals. I mean, they blend seamlessly together. And although you can detect them, matter of fact, the only thing I cannot detect in here um, in large doses is like I said, oud. Everything else is absolutely detectable. About an hour and 15, an hour and 30 minutes into this fragrance, then the florals are gonna kick in and then it starts to uh, get a little bit dirty um, with like uh, earthy patchouli, not the heavy variety. In fact, you're gonna, the only thing that's really prominent in this fragrance are the citruses and to a slightly lesser extent, uh, the uh, florals. Sexy, sexy jasmine, violet and rose, um, and then, uh, you know, the, again, the, the patchouli gives a little bit of a, a, of a rough edge, rough exterior. Um, another hour and maybe two hours into this fragrance, um, and it's dried down, you're going to start to get, you know, the earthy, uh, even more earthy tones with the vetiver, um, and then obviously the leather. So, uh, amber is in here and it gives it a really slightly sweet vibe at the end of the fragrance. This is the the, uh, the vanilla -y type, in my opinion, at least on my skin. Um, it gets leathery at the very end, like I said. Um, a little bit woody and, like I said, earthy with the vetiver. The patchouli and the vetiver, actually, I, if I look, hold on. If I look at this, yeah, I mean, it, it, if I look at the note breakdown uh, where the tears are concerned, it says that um, patchouli is in the hot notes and then vetiver is in the base notes. So they must be real close to each other. So um, patchouli and vetiver mixed together to give it a really earthy vibe, um, and then it gets you know, and then it gets woody. So now you're talking earthy and woody, which could be synonymous, I guess, um, if if you really think about it. Very light leather, a little bit of amber kicks in, giving it that real, like I said, a sweet undertone at the very end. So. Once this turns into a skin scent, which by the way is going to be hours into this fragrance, it's going to be a, uh, a cozy type of, you know, slightly sweet, earthy fragrance with some citrus, you know, to round it out. And again, like most um, fragrances from this house, you know, the notes are going to make appearances, fade, come back, fade, come back, fade, merge with others. And, but again, they don't go away. Um, but um, I actually kind of stand corrected. This is going to get a little bit more musky in the dry down. Uh, more than, than I thought originally because I ha have had this on for, um, you know, for the better part of the day. Uh, but yeah, it, it will get musky. The marine note in here, I don't even know what you would, would, would consider that. I mean, I don't know if it's like a sea marine or I wouldn't call it a salty marine. I'd call it more like a, a large lake. Marine, I guess you can definitely detect some um, some some aquatic type vibe um, in the dry down. Uh, like I said, a little bit more musky at the end, and you know, then when this fragrance gets ready to you know take it, actually it doesn't dive off the cliff. It actually goes down the hill because it's not a sharp uh, dive at all. Um, then again, it's it's gonna get sweet, slightly sweet, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I mean, this is unlike anything Mansara has has put out to date. Yeah, it, it, there's literally nothing like this um, that I've ever smelled, ever. So, very unique type of fragrance. Um, a lot of combinations therein, but a really sexy fragrance nonetheless. Longevity on my skin averages uh, 14 hours, okay? In eight of them, you're gonna be beasting, okay? And again, it, it doesn't go down sharply. It just, it, it, it glides down a hill. Not a steep grade, a very uh, shallow grade goes down the hill while this fragrance starts to, to, to morph into a skin scent. But again, but when it does, it's going to be a really sexy, cozy type of snuggle fragrance. Not in the beginning though. The beginning is going to be sharp, um, very citrusy, acidy citrus, um, and then it's just going to morph, you know, over and over. Sexy, warm, just stunningly, uh, almost edible you know, spicy fragrance that is just gonna bowl people over. I literally got stoned damn near to death with compliments. 
absolutely fantastic fragrance right here. It's a weird one, but my God, does it smell good. I mean, ugh, absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, that is my review. House of Mancera, black gold. Um, again, not hype, just love. And it is a sexy one. My next review will soon. I'll talk to you later.